Alright, alright, welcome back. Welcome back to the game as Logan but we're playing Vampire. Yes, we're continuing where we left off in the previous episode. And we're currently headed towards this sad Saint Hampton fella. Yes. <laughs> alright. Let's continue. Let's continue. Hampton! Where are you? <gasps> oh, this must be the. Oh, the is that... what, what, What's this? Yeah, people are still working at this time. Hey. While your lot slurping soup before bed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Night, asylum or whatever it's called. Oh, there. Here's the rest of the citizens. Your kind's not welcome here. Oi, be very careful. If you don't want it's to, locked, all right. If you don't want it to be turned into snacks, it actually doesn't matter if you're nice to me or not. If uh, <laughs> your blood look ta looks uh, tasty, uh, you're mm, going to be turned into a snack. Just sort of curious. There's blood. On the ground, we're just having a little look see around here. Yeah? Okay. Oh, what's this? Anti vampire poster. Danger is closer than you think. think. They're already here. Do not let them take the kingdom. <laughs> okay. I think that's a, a quest. Never mind that. I'm not gonna do that. It's locked. Right now. You. Ma ma'am? Can we have a conversation? Come on. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton. But I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No. But I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Hmm. Right, hang on. Eh, hey, I can kill you. I, I mean, <clears throat> what? <laughs> Healthy. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? Um, uh, do uh, doctors work very hard, you know. As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Hmm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? I won't feel bad draining her. Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. Lazy? I'm, s I'm saving lives. Didn't eat. Never mind. I'm a monster. <laughs> Mm. And I don't like your attitude. I'm, I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what. Just spend a few weeks here, and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh. You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. The feeling's mutual. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. Yeah, you're right. I don't. You're right, Miss Paxton. 
My clothes and my manners do speak for me. And I may not belong here, but that doesn't make me a bad person. You tell me, Dr. Reed. You tell me. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Why not kill her right away, Gamers Log? Um, I'm um, looking for um, more hints to increase her blood quality. Yes. Ah, oh, there's Hampton. Hampton. You would make everything right, Mum. But it's not been that simple. Hello? Good evening, Miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks? <laughs> not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town? You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. I like her. Okay. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Homeless? Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. Okay. What can you tell me about the sad saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the sad saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he is not always sad. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself. You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you would better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Hmm. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. Right out. Let's see personal questions. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. <laughs> He's behind us. Mr. Hampton oh, must be in, in his office us. at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Yeah, he's uh, just behind you. Goodbye, Miss. Yes. Bye. Goodbye. Just uh, wanted to see or hear what she would say. So old school. Look at these. Nineteen eighty. Anyone up there? No. Just curious. Just looking around, guys, before I go and speak to him. Uh, you a crazed monster? Feasting on the flesh of the living? And then, and then I, I saw him walking around here. Where did you go? Folded people. Oh, right here, right here. Dyson. Is he the guy, the, the drunkard? Is he the drunkard we <clears throat> sort of drained? Mm, okay, I just pause the video and read this for yourselves. I'm just gonna skip the rest. Uh, let's see. Mm, even a severe alcoholic like William Bishop keeps struggling with the 
Seduction. <laughs> right, right. I really don't know what's the worst thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Feelings. Hey. Hey, you don't seem uh, that violent. Good. Maybe we'll have a nice civil conversation after I loot this place. Um, poke, poke. How are you feeling? Why the long face, Doctor? Wow! Okay! You're sort of, um... Yeah... Y you... Look at his face! Look at his face! His flesh is... It's just... Is that just blood or is your skin... Rotting? Uh, I think it's just blood. It might just be blood. But still, you look... Uh, <laughs> I like the words. You look wrong. You're one of those lesser creatures now, skulls. Disgusting overgrown rat. How dare you speak to me. A, a pure-blooded vampire. Sired by, a, by an elder. Let's see. Mm. We have both changed a lot, it would seem. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Right. Why return here? Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Uh, right. Uh, you're a helpful skull? Wonders never cease. Skull managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? Not really. <laughs> uh, you don't know me, Hampton. You don't know me. You don't know me at all. I don't restrain. They're all snacks. It's just a matter of time. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Mm, I sort of believe you, actually. You're not afraid of what you've become. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? Oh, yeah, same, blessed, same, thing, doctor. same thing. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. That was sort of cool. That was sort of interesting. I said the same. I said the same thing. Let's read. Uh, let's see. Mm. Holy symbols don't repel you. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. Mm hmm. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh. No blood. Mm hmm. You killed Harriet Jones, however. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? 
you say you're innocent? I... Well... They didn't really see... Him do it, did they? They saw someone do it. Doesn't really mean he did it. I mean, the doors are open. Anyone can just wander in and have a little snack, I guess. So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke. Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. Really? People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Well, I'm sort of intrigued. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. I, I sort of can't kill him. He's, he's the pillar. He's the pillar of a, and uh, I've sort of already killed two people in the in this district. If I take out the pillar as well, ooh, bye bye district. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch. I'm not gonna touch him. I I, I sort of need these guys to stay alive. I'll, I guess we miss. I guess we lose all of these guys if uh, the district falls. So let's uh, not cause unnecessary chaos. I mean, if uh, <laughs> if he can control himself, eh? I mean, fine. Whatever. I, I, I sort of trust him. I sort of trust him. To be able to control himself. Uh, find this place this way. Oh, it's you. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Uh, no, no, I've seen nothing. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. hmm. Where to? What will this key unlock?
Nineteen. Is that the sewer entrance over there? They're gonna have a bad day. They're about to have a bad day. Surprise! Say his name. This place? Oh, here we are. Give a dog a bad name. Wait. Did a werewolf? Come inside the hospital and kill Harriet Jones. I mean, I guess that could make sense since um, the room was surely a mess, but you know, a skull would do the same thing. Mindless beasts, except Hampton. He seems to be. No, all there still, even though he's a skull. He didn't turn into a mindless beast. What what happened? I'm, I'm very confused. He's able to control himself. Very interesting. That doesn't work. Ooh, that doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> poke 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 poke. Killings. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. Guess I have to destroy those barrels. Chillings. How much money do I have? 600 shillings, nice. That's pretty nice. Sounded like a skull. 
Hmm. Could have been a vampire as well. I mean, an econ or whatever. Hmm. Why did Hampton send me here? Maybe it's a trap. Maybe he's trying to kill me. Reveal yourself. have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again? The one they call the Sewer Dog. Hold your tongue, new boy, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. You'll learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. <laughs> Your neck shall snap like a hare's brittle bones, newborn. My power you cannot comprehend. Wanna see power? Yes, power. Which two vanish on slaughter these Whoa. scouts while singing your name? Impressive. Underestimated him. Foolish Egon. you get and I shall be a fair skull to adorn my Down, 
Stay down. Oh, nope, nope. Your blood is now <laughs> Nope. Finish him. What's that? I didn't really hit <laughs> catch that. What did you say? <laughs> Guys, meh, 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 meh. You kill Harriet. Did you kill Harriet Jones? Hmm. That was a cool fight. Yes. Um, it was not great. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Is that a good thing? Creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. Why are we? Why, why are we tracking a skull? What's what's your sudden interest in these rats? Doctor Reed. Ooh. Yes. Bullets. We're following blood. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. So many skulls. I need. I need to start the purif uh, <laughs> purification. What is this? A whole society of skulls. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait. I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Um, uh, I saved her. Oh, okay. Um, Hampton sent me here. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon. But I sense your pain. You should bend a knee. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. 
His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. Ooh, I haven't thought about having slaves. You will serve me now. <laughs> what the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, uh, I'll put them down. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. Mm, yeah, but you are lessers. <laughs> So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. He knew about these... skulls when he was a human. He can be trusted then? Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Okay. I did not uh, see this coming at all. A whole society of skulls just living in the sewers. Uh, there, there. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. We we need to we need to take these guys out, guys. They're they're a threat. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. She's a fool. I'm planning your destruction as we speak. Keep your distance, Echo. Ascalon has stalked us for ages upon ages. <laughs> How is London? I've not seen beyond these walls in such a long time. <laughs> Disgusting creatures. Yes, refill. Nice. Disgusting creatures, they should be put down. <laughs> Silver mirror, great value. Pistol, not pistol, come on now. Very nice. Level two. It's, oh, not oh. Six thousand. Six thousand. Should I should I evolve? Should I do it? I'm sort of sort of scared to 
do that. Let's not do it yet. Sort of, sort of uh, scared to see what happens. Sort of nervous. You know, killing those that old woman and uh, the drunkard. Hmm. I th I think we we should be good. It might go down to serious, but it should not go down to critical. I don't think. As long as we don't eat the pillar. It's a commendative. Alright, uh, Harriet uh, Jones? <coughs> What's this? Supremacy of it. It's no coincidence that it comes out the most eminent and the most numerous of all vampires echoes are the true aristocracy of immortals and if I may add they are the, the only ones able to s stay at the top of the food chain. Everywhere I traveled I only met echoes assuming mortal lives or assume mortal lives or forming an immortal society. Echoes are the, mo are the most human, most clever and most edu educated of all vampires. Don't get me wrong here, I have nothing against more exotic species like Volkod, who share the gift of immortality with us. Most of them can prove useful if personally canalized toward a clear goal, but they lack the most important trait of all, the ability to mingle with mortals without being spotted. Right oh. Mm, okay, okay. Mm, just pause the video if you want to read all of it. Okay. Nash. Sturdy bump simple. Can I loot this uh, without activating? Cutscene. There we go. Uh, hello. How you doing? Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. Uh, <laughs> um, how do you feel right now? How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. Oh, my, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Interesting. Um, can you eat, drink? Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Are you in pain? Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Hmm. Why fake your death? Your room. The blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Seriously? Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Do you enjoy pain and sorrow? Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet, always the discarded. Mm. Why did you come here? Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Oh, you leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. 
She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Oops. Yes. I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet. Always alone. Mm -hmm. I have an important question to ask you. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. Okay. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? I am so much more. No, I'm not, Harriet. I've no taste for revenge, nor do I enjoy the suffering of others. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood, and I wanted revenge, and Sean pulled me from it, brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Who are you talking about? Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. Right, right. Okay, okay. I forgot about the dead body already. <laughs> There's so much death around it, around me all the time. I'm like, um, another body. Okay. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. Right. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent. But it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. <laughs> and it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It... it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Interesting. Interesting turn of events. Interesting developments. Hmm. Something questioning me. Not uh, something asking questions about me. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us, spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. Why do you live here? Why do you live here? Amongst the filth and vermin? Live? Here we hide. From whom? What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. 
And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. Right. Who are you? Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most Skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most Skulls. What happened to you? You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Right. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Um... The moment the game gives me a chance to betray you, I'm gonna betray you. Let's agree, Chip. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Arrows, okay. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. <coughs> Overgrown rats, all of them. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess this is a, this is a good place to end it, I suppose. What is that? Oh, it is just, just flies. Okay, anyway. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think an hour has already gone by, so I'm gonna be ending it here. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and uh, yeah, see you guys in my next uh, episode of... Um, and here, yeah. I think I might continue with one more episode before I start playing. Yes, I'd like to maybe evolve perhaps. A lot of XP, guys. A lot of XP over them. Mm, yes. Well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be. I'll be ending this episode here, yes. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and uh, yeah, see you guys in my next episode. See you guys. See ya.